But just thought I would um, show you what I'm up to today because I got this new thing. I've had it a couple of weeks. There we go. And um, I had to order the plates as well because I, I didn't realise you needed them. Silly me. So I'm going to make a little journal today. It's only a small one. Um, what size does it turn out? Well, it go. You don't need the big shot plus. It's just it will go through your normal one, um, five inches in width, which is great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make one out of out of how it is, and then I thought I'd make I'll, I'll cut another piece out of a piece of card and then extend it, but use the holes. Yeah, so use the same width, but use the holes and make a taller one. So, you know, we can we can accommodate that, can't we? So I'm going to do that as well. Because um, that's quite small, really, but it's a bit of fun. So I've got, I've cut it out of some wallpaper, textured wallpaper, and I've lined it and cut another piece out with some of this hessian stuff. And then I've glued it back to back and I'm going to paint it now and have a bit of fun because I don't you know want it like that I want it all painted so but I still got a nice little texture on it so yeah that's what I've got my new toy this week I know it's it's quite in a you know quite an outlay really because these aren't cheap I've ordered the TN one as well but that's my little um limit of the month so I haven't spent much this month so I thought I would treat myself and because I, I, I just like to play, so right. So I'm going to gesso this um, first. I've picked colours. It's going to be. Very, <laughs> I'm going to play with my dilutions. So again, I've had them what? Nearly twelve months. Last September, I bought these. So and I've hardly used them. So I'm going to have a go play with them today. But we'll gesso first because I like the way paint sits on gesso, especially fabric, because then it won't take so much paint. Actually, I'll do the outside first, because that will dry quicker. So, if I wasn't painting the inside, I would be careful, but I don't have to be, because I'm painting that as well. So just put your gesso over and then get it dry and turn it over and do your inside okay and then i shall be back when that's done okay it's all dry so i'm going to play with some paint um I usually start with my lighter color i don't even know whether i've opened this one no i haven't hold on Yeah, the other two I have, so okay. Oh look at that. It's amazing. Amazing colours. Love them. Right, and I'm just gonna randomly paint. <laughs> Making sure you get, I'm going over slightly because I like colours to blend in. bit of the it's one of my favorite colors
Wow, that looks like peacock, doesn't it? <laughs> peacock colours. Oh, I just need a... Actually, I have a little bit of pink. I'll wait for that to dry. There's a little bit to fill in there. And we've got a bit of a line there. So it's... Okay, I'm liking that. Very bright and cheerful. Right, it's all nice and dry. And I'm going to add some little bit of gesso now because I just I want to. Because I feel I just need some negative space with all that colour. So. sort of I tend to just do it a bit I'm just playing and it's ex totally experimenting now all right let's get a bit more texture going And it pushes some of the colour to the background as well, which I like. And it's picking up nicely on that raised areas. And yeah, it's definitely a bit better. Okay, leave it in that for a minute. And then I'm going to paint, actually it won't hurt, paint the inside of this one now. But what I'm going to do with this one, I'm actually going to mix a bit of gesso with the paint. Um, what colour should we go for? Yeah, the green, yeah, not the same colours, I think. But I'm going to mix it with a bit of gesso. Right, blob there.
Right, I'm going to give that a dry and see how it how it, what it looks like. And if I like it, there's a little bit maybe there I need to blend out. But I'm going to just dry that a minute. I thought I'd get this finished. I'm going to stitch all the way around now. Um, I think the pages are five by three and a half. You cut them, well five it'll be three and a half by seven so it'll be five by seven and they fit nicely in there so I've gone ahead and done that as well loads of different papers you have to excuse me today I, I actually am not in a very good mood because I've just found I've just seen a video someone messaged me and it's where someone's made something out of one of my stolen digits that's been mass produced in, in China and of course, you know, I feel really bad for the person because she's totally unaware. But it's I'm actually shaking because, you know, she's quite a big channel and I'm. it's just really upsetting to go and see that, you know, and how unaware people are that my designs are out there circulating. It's just unfair, really. But anyway, anyway I'm going to go and stitch around this and then put the signatures in oh and do the elastic okay right I've stitched around all that I did start to oh there it is I did start to stitch it down there and then I went all wonky so I unpicked it and I thought well I'll paint over that in a minute yeah it's just the sort of morning I'm having really so right what we do here that is the front where the holes are nearest that bit okay you got the long bit there and that's the front because this is the bit that wraps around like so all right so we get a length of i've i've just got about a yard i suppose or a meter or whatever um so i've got that i put sticky tape on the ends and this is two mil elastic i find that works best and you start off in the top hole nearest the front okay and use threads through so about I'll leave a good good bit at the end there because that's got to go back through here so and then just thread through each hole this way and there oops too much now <laughs> Okay. and sort of have a little bit of tension on already if you can that makes it easier when you're finished that one there so I'm going to hold that there and then come through the third hole to the front like that down to the bottom again that and through the last one okay then go up to the top all right so you've got so it's looking like that now okay you've got four there and then two up there one at the beginning one at the end all right this one because what we've got to do now is closing these gaps Okay, closing these so you go into the second hole there, which we've already got one in, so it looks like that. You can see that there. Okay, and then I need a little bit more. that go yeah I'm, I just need a little tiny bit more so I'm just before I start I'm going to just pull a bit more down like that okay and then that one goes through that hole there second one in from the bottom yeah like that so I'm still going to need a bit more. Let's do that now. And pull that 
them down. Okay, so that one's at the bottom now, and then I've got to close in that hole there. Yeah. So you have three going that way there. Okay. And there's your end. Still might need a bit more, but might be all right. Okay. And then with this one at the top, you go, all you have to do with that one, okay, to fill in there is to go in that hole there. Like that. So you have it like that. That's perfect. All right. And it, it will look like that until you put something in it. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine because they will stretch a bit as well. But they pucker up until you've put something in there. Then you knot it. I go right over left and then left over right, that sort of thing, yeah? It's supposed to help the knot not come undone, but... Okay, and I'm going to leave it like that for a minute just to make sure everything fits. All right, that's done. Okay, that all, honestly, once the pages are in, you'll find that that's okay. All right. Okay, if it's too baggy to start with, it doesn't work. Right, now, my pages, um, I cut them down a little bit because I found, I looked and I thought five inches was just a bit too tall. Okay, so I've done four and three quarters for these. So that's four and three quarters plus that way is seven. All right, and then fold it in half. And then I get the corner chumper and I get the small one. I did do one that was big and I didn't like it. So the small end of that one, okay. And then that gives us a little lip just here for the elastic to go in. All right, or sometimes you'll find that that rips. So just do that one a minute. So I did leave one to do. It's there. Oops. <laughs> oh, I've done it. <laughs> it's like, why isn't it working? <laughs> Here we go. And that one's done now. All right. Which way shall I have that? That, I think. So this is just odd bits of paper again. Okay. I'll have that one in the beginning, I think. The plain one. Yeah. Don't know whether I've got anything. Okay. And then we just put them in. And I don't do anything for them till to them until they're done. I mean, because once they're, they're completed, you could then sew this to keep them all together to put them in here. And then they sit in there nicely, you see? And with that bit taken out of there, that elastic just sits in there really nicely. Okay. So that's three pages with four signatures. Well, you could get another one in there if you wanted, but... sits in there lovely you do all sorts of things with these but I just wanted to do another one art journal type thing wrap around with some you know with what I used just for change that's my new toy that's why I'm playing with it <laughs> there we go and that sits in there like so I mean it's gonna look sort of this is gonna look a bit big all right, until you start working on these and then they expand, all right, and then that sits there. Okay, so what we need to do now is measure. No, I'm going to leave it, actually. I'm going to leave it until it's done. Yeah, so I'm going to just put maybe a tie on here with an eyelet on this one here and then do a wrap around. I think I'm going to do that for, for this one until I finished and that's a nice little book that we can you know take out when we want to do something we can take them out and then put them back in oh, I'm loving that it's nice it's nice and small for your handbags to take anywhere with you too 
Right, I'm going to go and get me... Well, oh, that's just here. And a grommet. And it's a grommet I need. Okay. Actually, I thought I would show you the correct way first. Before I was going to put some a wrap around coming on from here, but I think I'm going to do it, you know, with the elastic through this way because that's what I normally do. But I would I thought there would be a hole here somewhere, but I've marked one myself. I can make one myself because I've got one of these springy ones. So um, you know that's five inches. So I marked the two and a half centre there. And and make a hole through that. It might take a couple of times. Sorry, this is going to be noisy. There. Okay. All right, and I'm going to put a grant grommet on this one. All right. Just to give it, reinforce it a bit. It's quite a big hole, that one, actually. Didn't need it as big as that, but just picked up the big one. That's all right. That should fit that, and then I just squish down. Oh, there we go. Squish down on there, it disappeared. <laughs> and then that. I cut the bangs, and then go a little bit more. There we go. And then we've got a grommet through there now. I use thicker elastic for this only because I've got some. I think I bought this one. This. I quite like this one actually. This this thin one does stretch quite a bit, but this one doesn't. I reckon this is like four mil, three or three, something like that. So again, I'm you know you'd have to look that up. I'm not I'm not that sure. So right, and I just cut a bit off. I don't need that much. Um, I would say maybe length of the ruler. I do waste a bit because I never know. Cut a bit that off. But I've got I've got a bit of this, so I might as well use it up. Okay. And just thread them through. Okay, not this. This is where you can hang things on. But you do that before you knot it. Or you can still hang it up. See, I didn't even knot it, knot that properly today. All right, let's try again. Mm. I think actually the thinner one would be better. It's a bit thick, this one. It's a little book, isn't it? There we go. I've got both ends now. All right, All right. and it's like that. Too big. And that goes around like that. Half a length. <laughs> This is here. And there we have it. Okay, and this is where you can hang charms on. But I'm going to leave it like that because I, I was thinking after I might put something on the end here. I might do something else with it a bit later on. And of course, it's not full yet, so this you know look a bit squashy here until you've got some work going on inside. Yeah, but I'm loving it. <laughs> There we go, put that away a minute. So that's that one. Oh, I was going to show you what I've done in my um, other one. Because I did, if you follow me on Instagram, I put a picture or Facebook, you would have seen it. But I actually started off with, remember the drawing I had of a girl. So that's what I created. First page I've done in a long time. That was just a bit of paper I stuck on there and then sort of blended it in with everything. So yeah, you cut her out and just put her in there. That was that page with that, with the, all that darkness in the background, you know, with like a head on. It was, you know, like a rubbishy page. So I totally covered it with her and then worked with what was left. So yeah. So I have made a start, which is good. There we go. So, yeah, I haven't done anything else, but I have done one page. <laughs> yeah, we needed a bit of downtime this week, and I most probably need some tonight. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for watching then, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.